Hi everyone, welcome to another paper, flour, paper flourish craft video. My name is Julie um, and I've got something really exciting to show you today. We've had some a lot of new products arrive in store this week. It's in Adelaide, South Australia at Paper Flourish, but they these products are also available online. But something really exciting we've had a delivery from Stamperia and it's their new release products not only uh, we've received the Cosmos Infinity range which is very exciting stunning range of papers ephemera rub-on transfers um, lots of different products so that's really exciting but as well as that we've had the most amazing mixed media products have arrived and the one I want to show you today, the products I've got here to show you, are the new Stardust Metallic Pigments. And these are amazing. So I thought a video was a good way to show you not only the effects and the colours of these beautiful products, but also how to apply them. So for about the last um, probably hour in my craft room, I've been having a lot of fun playing with these products. So the, they work. These are your metallic pigments. And the one I'm holding here is Astral Green. They've all got these, I guess, to go with the Cosmos range, these sort of planet um, space age names, and they're fantastic. Uh, I've got the other ones out here because these are the ones I've already been playing with. And I will show you those in a moment. The other product they've released, released is the Stamperia Beeswax. And these products all combine um, together to give you the most amazing um, finish on your products. This one here, the Stamperia Black and Matte Super Base. This is what you use. It's, it's kind of like a, almost like a really heavy black gesso. So you can use it as the base and then you decorate with the beautiful um, pigment powders. Little pots, but I tell you what, I have used hardly anything and these go a long way. So you only need the tiniest bit of product um, to get these incredible effects. So let me show you what I've been playing with. I'll just pop these to the side for the moment. So what I decided to do was uh, pick up a range of different products, paint them with the black uh, super base, and then I've been playing with the pigment powders. First one I did, I've grabbed a tag. So I've just used a Distress tag, one of the Ranger ones, and I did a modelling paste base. So I used the Five Crazy Ladies to Mask stencil, and the Stamperia Volume Paste, uh, stenciled the paste onto the tag, dried it, and then I have painted all over it with the black super base. From there, I used, you know, I used a combination of, this one here is called Nebula Rose, so I used that first. I did start to apply it with my finger. Um, you pick up a bit of the beeswax, and I said you'll see all this happen in a moment. Pick up the beeswax. Uh, the nebula rose and you can either put on with your finger or then I started to use a brush as well and I found on the bigger space the brush worked well I then picked up the golden sun pigment and again with the beeswax just applied some of the gold to the top of the uh, the, the modeling paste areas and how beautiful does that look can you see the shimmer and shine on that so easy and so effective so that was the first one I played with and I thought I'm quite happy with that. I'm kind of keen to try all the other colours out in a similar way. So it's worked really well on cardstock. So that opens up so many. So my mind is just spinning with all the different ideas that you could use. I then picked up a piece of this is beautiful Denise Bodie chipboard. Painted it with the black super base. And then with the beeswax. And this time I've used, I love this name, Martian Copper. Isn't that fantastic? So I've used Martian Copper. Look at the bronze spark. Look at the bronze shimmer on that. So again, another fantastic way, easy way to decorate your chipboards. Well, that's come up really, really well. So that was the Martian Copper. I'll keep these out for the moment. Show you. I did try. I painted a, this is a resin piece. So it starts off where I've got a clear one here somewhere like this. Come out of the mould, clear resin. And then I painted it this time with your Stamperia primer. So the white. So I thought I wanted to see what they look, these pigments look like on white. Same colour. So this is on black and this is on white. 
I don't mind it, but I certainly love it on the black the best. That gives the best colour. But this is kind of given a bit of an opal finish. So I haven't done this area. I've only done this bit. But it's really pretty. But it's kind of like an opal, opal coppery finish on it. It's kind of cool. All right, so I just thought I'd try it. That's the only one I've tried on the white uh, because you can definitely see you can get the beautiful colour happening better with the black, which I then one. Oh, this was a, this is a pretty one. So this is Blue Neptune. And look at this one. Look at the, the colour in that. Pretty, pretty colour. So put them out. That's your Martian Copper. That's your Blue Neptune. I'm saving one to last because I can't believe the effect of one of these little pots. Golden Sun. Look at that one. And again, I used the Golden Sun on the tag. So this is on here. And then I used it on a, um, on a resin piece. Now, I've gone really solid gold and I did that with the brush. If you just wanted to pick up the highlights with the gold and leave the black underneath, or it could be any colour, you could do this over an acrylic paint. Then you could do it with your finger and just catch the top of it. But I wanted to go solid gold. So that's our golden sun. I like that one too. This was the silver one, silver moon. See how they've all got the, the planet sort of space age names. This is silver moon. And that is beautiful. Look at that. It's like an old silver. The shimmer on that. Happy with that one. I did that one with a brush. So that's your silver moon. Aren't these stunning? So it's so easy. So easy to work with. No time at all. There's our Nebula Rose up there. Uh, we've got, now this is the one that really surprised me. This is called Cosmos, Cosmos Magic. And this is, these are metallic pigments. This was called, oh, where's my tab? I can't remember what it was called. Let me find the top of it so I can tell you. It had a different name to it. if I hadn't thrown it in my bin, wouldn't it? All right. Can't find the top of it. What it was called. What I will do is I'll make sure I will put all of these names um, in the in the um, description for the for the uh, video. Can't remember, but it had a different name. It's not metallic pigment. It's something else. Um, I just can't find what I've done with the top of it. In my excitement, I've thrown it somewhere and I'm not sure. So I'll definitely put that name in there. But it's Cosmos Magic. Metallic. It is a metallic pigment, but it's got a different name. Um, but this is throwing off different colours. Have a look what this little pot of magic. So you can see it's like a almost like a white powder. But look what it's done. So it's got, you can, it's thrown off like gold, a bit of blue, a bit of everything in there. That is stunning. So that one really surprised me. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. And then I went, wow. So Cosmos Magic. Beautiful. So let me show you how to apply these little pots of delight. Uh, I'll put these colours to the side for the moment. So we've got our beeswax. This is the one I haven't shown you. And it's Astral Green. To get it out the best and this is probably how i've managed to lose the top of the other one i just cut it and took the little pot out of the packet here we are astral green beeswax so and i've painted up mecha moth this is one of the moths this is one of the new prima molds that came out mecha moth i thought mecha moth is going to look fantastic in green i'm just going to pop this down onto the paper so we've got our beeswax you can pick it up with your finger. You can pick it up with a brush. And here's the green. Be very careful opening them. They do have a silk. Have a look. Look at the shimmer. Look at the green. Oh, I'm excited to use this one. I get the best job, don't I? I get to play with all these gorgeous products. So I'm going to start just showing you. You can apply it with your finger. And then you can also apply it with a brush. I'm just going to pick up. This has got a little bit of wax on the edge. So I've picked up a little bit be too much don't need much you then can pick up a little bit of the powder we go and it's as easy as doing this so that's with my finger and it hasn't gone because i can't get my finger right into all the grooves but can you see that it's beautiful so again if you just wanted to pick up my wax there 
Might get rid of the wax. If you just wanted to just sort of pick up and highlight the areas like this, your finger works perfect for it, which is a really, really nice way to nice effect. So I'll do half that way. See how I've just picked up? And you can add other colours too. You could. Uh, I'll show you first with the brush. Same, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of wax, pick up the powder, and this time you can brush it on. But now I'm getting more of a solid look, isn't it? You're sort of getting more of the full colour happening there. Easy, isn't it? Look at the look at this. So you can see there, I've just touched the top there with my finger um, and left the black showing underneath. And here I've got more of a solid um, coverage. Just wipe that off my fingers. You can see I've got black and everything now happening today. Um, so I've been playing with these products. I'm just going to put the lid back on the green. That is a really beautiful green, astral green. That's cool. And then what we could do, so if I wanted to add another colour to that, that would be really pretty. Which one should we do? Wipe my brush off. We might add a bit of Martian copper. Again, just the best name ever. So this time I'm just going to put a tiny bit on my finger. You don't need much at all, just enough to pick up the powder. This time I'm just going to touch and catch the raised areas to highlight them. So I've got the green underneath and I've got the Martian copper on top. And that looks absolutely stunning. Easy, isn't it? Easy to get an effect like that with these gorgeous products. So these are now available um, in store at Paper Flourish, but also in our on, on our online store, uh, paperflourish.com.au. Available there now. Um, these are an absolute treat. Beautiful, beautiful products. Well done, Stan Perea. So thank you for joining me today. Uh, I just wanted to give you a chance to see, because you see these little pots in store and it's not always obvious the magic they create. But just have a look at these pieces. Very exciting. I'm sure there's so much more that can be done with these, with these powders. But as I said, that's my first play with them. Easy, quick. And beautiful results so I'm sure in other projects coming up on the videos I'll be exploring more with these powders different things we can do but thank you for watching uh, today have a fantastic day and I'll be back again soon with another video thank you very much bye bye